It really was. That looks really good. Is that that's a cheese turnover or something? Danish? Danish, yeah. Such good soup. What is that? French onion. You can even eat it cold. You know? Oh, did you? And what? She said this has to all come. Say if anybody needs to know what Jack needs for his birthday. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's like whiskey, I think, or something. Yep. Yep. What? That's what was hanging from your mouth. Oh. When I told you the button. Yeah, okay. Stringy cheese. So Aunt Beth took Uncle Tom and Rosie out to the university. And she was telling him what this said. And Rosie said, oh, I think I'm going to get on shoes. Yeah. And Uncle John said, do you know what she, they got him for his 75th birthday? A used <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a little eccentric. You know how people with money keep money? <laughs> That's how. Do we turn our own? So I said to Beth, we should all have Uncle Jack open up all his presents when he gets them. <laughs> to each their own. I'm not going to point fingers or say anything. My business, you know. <laughs> this is so good. a message to Greg about that lens error because he knows a lot about these kind of cameras you know so I want to get back to me oh, these are the best cookies they're very tasty
You ever heard anything? Have you ever heard anything, uh, something called about the Mandela effect? <laughs> it's really interesting. It was reported that Mandela, Nelson Mandela, you know who he is, Nelson Mandela, died in jail, right? And then the guy gets freed from jail and then dies. <laughs> so it's. Hayden! It's called the Mandela effect. When you think. When you think some one thing is true, but it's not, and then something else happens. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really creepy. Mm -hmm. And they think it has to. Uh, there's. there's there are scientists that think it has to do with parallel universes colliding. Isn't that very strange? Yeah. Oh, how do you spell Febreze? Febreze? Febreze. Can you write it down? Do you have a pen? That would be easier. Okay. That's not how you spell it. Not it's F R E B R E Z E. That's the Mandela effect. Oh. What is that mean? That means you you remember it being spelled Certainly. with two E's. It should be spelled with two E's, right? That's the way you remember. That's the way you remember it being spelled, but it's actually spelled with one E. It's called the Mandela effect. Isn't that strange? It's, they say it's parallel universes colliding. Quantum physics. Quantum quantum theory. Craziness, right? Now, I have a soup snack for later.
That was very good. How about that? Okay. For a change. I'm finished before you. <laughs> I'm usually the last one out. You know what, when I was in Afghanistan, we had this, um, it was like a, it was a hat, but it was made out of like, plastic. What is the plastic fabric? Polyester? It was made out of something like that, right? And when it was getting cold in the high desert, we were like at a eight, eight and a half thousand feet um, I was starting to get pimples on my head I was starting to get pimples all across my forehead because all the you know all the sweat and dirt was retained in that hat and it was disgusting oh couldn't believe it Reason number 553 not to go to Afghanistan. <laughs> it's such a dirty place, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why he wants to? He's gonna regret it. He should go for the cushy job stateside. He's gonna regret it. Maybe he won't. I don't know. You know, it's a curse and a blessing. Either way you take it, it's a curse and a blessing. I I, I saw the I saw the underbelly of the world. Maybe Sophie won't get the I you know honestly, I hope she doesn't. No one needs to see that disgusting part of the world. It's really just, it's like hell. But you learn, you learn to appreciate just a little, a little drop of juice. Fokini did that too. A little drop of water. You learn to, learn to love it. A little, crystal of sugar it'll make your day you know it's just crazy the way the world is over there it's a horrible place with horrible people it's not all of them but many of them too many of them oh, I don't even want to think about it <laughs> it's terrible Oh, Margaret got back to me. Margaret Bagley. Margaret, I, do you remember Margaret Bagley? Well, you remember Matt Bagley. It's uh, Matt, ba Matt Bagley's sister. I think it was Dan Bay. Uh, okay. Maybe if I see them, I would remember them. Well, it's Margaret. It's, you know, someone I knew from, you know, quite a, quite a few years ago. Really nice, really nice girl, lady. But she works in uh, New York City with a mayor. You know, I keep in contact with her. Really nice. She's a family person, you know. Very Irish. Got a son named Liam. <laughs> oh. 
moving her office to the 42nd floor. No more spectacular view. <laughs> Say that again. Moving her office to the 42nd. To 42nd. I guess maybe 42nd Street. No more spectacular view. Day's only half over and I'm kind of petering out. <laughs> you know? Probably because I didn't eat too much this morning. What? Probably because I didn't eat too much this morning. You ate too much? I didn't eat too much this morning. You want to take this home? Is it soft? Yeah, very soft. Oh, sure. Let me get a little packaging for it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be nice. That would be good milk. Perfect. This is a really good place. I, I, I like Panera so much, you know. I like the fact that, you know, I know it's a write-off, but I like the fact that they intend to good cook extra bread to give away to food food pantries or soup lines or whatever, you know. Are you ready now? Um, 